I am the Commissar, and we are watching Forged Alliance Forever. Today, I've got 2v2 ladder action for you on the map Gateway and Rose. Up here in the northwest, we have Hot Team, and down here in the southeast, we have Cold Team. Let's go and meet Hot Team first. Here on this island, we have Black Death, who we saw quite recently fighting Bob Masilli. He is 1510 rated, he's Cybron, and he's in Burgundy, and we can see him opening first air, which is exciting. Don't get to see that very often. And his teammate on this slightly larger island is Terminator619. Not Terminator, I'm not putting on a silly accent, his name really is Terminator619. He is 1466 rated, he's also Cybron in red, and he's also opening first air, which is quite exciting. Double first air opening for Hot Team, I'm hoping to see lots of early bomber play. On the island for Cold Team, we have Nyarmarine, 1593 rated, and Seraphim. He's in dark blue, and he has more usually opened first land. Last but not least, we have Saints Row, 1215 rated and Cybron. He's in baby blue, and he has also opened first land. So, two air openings for hot team, two land openings for cold team. That's going to be interesting. And this map, Gateway and Rose. Okay, the first thing I hate about it is, look at this, when you're at this zoom, the coast is all pixelated. Why? I don't know, it's fine at this zoom. And that's not a feature of other maps, that's just this map. Anyway, it has clutches of reclaim here by the cliffs, as you'd expect. It has a passageway through the middle here, with mexes to hold on to both at the bottom and the top. It has an AA gun. A civilian but hostile AA gun on each corner here, which will need to be taken out. And it has plateaus everywhere. Here and here are plateaus, as are here and here. And this little beach you can get to from the water, but not from the land above. So lots of places where you have to get to by air or edge build. Nyar and Black Death have these expansions here and here across the water. Saints and Terminator have these expansions here and here. And we hoped for first bomber play and we got it. Well, we got early bomber play. B bomber going around this way from Terminator and this way from Black Death. And there are already expanding engineers from Nyar here and from Saints here, which would be lovely pickups if the bombers could get them because Nyar and Saints would then have to re-expand all over again. We have a reasonably early bomber out from Nyar, but first of all, this looks like the bomber we're going to have to watch first. Nyar's expanding engineer is just going its merry way when suddenly, bam, bombs fall from the sky and it's dead. This bomber lands, which I don't like. What about this? Well, down here, Black Death hasn't gone for these. He does go for this one, but there's an AA tank here. And look at that. That is a beautiful dodge from Saints. And the AA tank is just going to clear up this bomber. There it goes. Pop. Over here, Terminator did pick up the other expanding NG before Nyar shot it down. So, lovely denial of this expansion by Terminator. Nya, however, has already finished his first naval yard and is working on a second. Nobody else has yet started work on a naval yard. And navy's going to be really important here, just look at the map. This plateau is being dropped by Terminator. He has six engines on board, which seems like too much for one plateau, and so I expect he's only... Yes, he only drops one engine up here, and the rest are going down here. I'm expecting to see a lot of land production. from this group of five NGs in order to lock down Nyar's expansion, two land factories immediately queued up and stop Nyar from getting the benefit of his main set of non-base mexes. Second 
naval yard there up for Nyar before anyone else has finished getting into the water. Both the code comms, however, are here coming across the middle, whereas Terminator is walking this way. Don't know where he's going yet, we'll find out. But this could be quite a threat for Black Death if these comms just charge across with a bit of spam from this factory and what can Black Death do about it? Well, he can send out more bombers for starters. He's killed an engineer here with this bomber, looks like. But it's on autopilot now and it's just bombing that half-built mechs, which is a mistake because this Inti might... Okay, this Inti might not pick it up because Black Death has supported it with Intis of his own. That's nice. That bomber might get something done. More drops. Is this coming into this plateau from Ter... No, it's not. That's full of tanks, my dude. I think we're going to see a base drop from Terminator. On Tanya. What's he going to do with it? It's going to land here. And Inti's locked onto it though. But I think there's going to be enough for it to hold out. This bomber could just drop a bomb straight on it when it lands. But there is an anti-air tank in there. This T2 Mex would be a lovely pickup. But I like this. There are five engines here, and they're probably all going to die, which is quite a hit to Nyar's build capacity. He's got some farm tanks out defending, and immediately most of the Mantis are dead. The bomber is helping out, but it's a good dodge from Terminator, and the AA tank shoots it down. Is he going to be able to claim that T2 Mex, which would be an amazing pickup if he could? There are still tanks coming out here, though, and... Terminator thinks it's wiser to just go for easier targets like this T1 mechs up here. Meanwhile, he is swarming down from these factories he set up. And these frigates, I don't think... No, they're nowhere near going to range these points. So, for the moment, the naval defence won't work on this expansion. And another attempt to recolonize is met with overwhelming force. I like that a lot. Meanwhile, Black Death is dropping this island in the south that is one of Saints' expansions. So I'm loving this from Hot Team. Drops everywhere, stopping both members of Cold Team getting to their respective expansions. And he's just going on. One NG to take over this. But I'm pretty. Yes, he's coming to land on this island and claim it. That is beautiful. Saints has also gone into the water, Black Death into the water, Terminator into the water, and over here. But over here, he might be shut down before he can build too much because Nyar's frigate is already here and shooting at that production. And there is a sub and several more frigates coming in behind. In the middle, Black Death is trying to push onto the plateau. But he has met with both the comms of Cold Team and a reasonable chunk of spam. And Saints putting up more production here to help out. I don't think Black Death is going to get any work done on this plateau. He's just going to feed the two Cold comms some veterancy. Down here, Black Death has managed to drop off an engineer here, which will capture both these me mexes. And this is nice. Look at this. He's queuing up a cheeky little naval yard hidden behind Saints' base. That would be amazing if he can just suddenly surprise attack Saints from the back of his base. Meanwhile, Saints has counter-dropped Black Death's plateau. He's putting up turrets to defend. He's already taken the mexes. Once you drop, you can't stop. Lots of naval presence here from Nyar, and it's going to shut down Terminator's attempts in this area. He's backed it up with air control, and the frigates might not be able to range this space, but they can certainly range this space, and these bombers can just hit it from the sky. So this could be quite a hit to Terminator if he's not careful. Rather than worry about trying to kill the com with just T1 Navy, Nyar is sensibly moving on. But Black Death has launched a massive spam attack across the middle. His comm is still unupgraded, but it's joined in. And rather than take on this huge wave, Saints and Nya are retreating back to their base, where they'll probably be able to hold at this choke point. 
We'll have to find out, but good counter from Black Death in the middle, just having more spam. However, his attempts to get a naval presence are going to be thwarted by these T1 naval units from Saints. He's got more coming in, and Black Death hasn't got any naval units out, so I think these factories are going to go down. Quick overview of the map. So, four out of... And plus the middle out of the main quote bases are in the hands of hot team as is half of Saints' expansions down here though he's retaken this one and hot team is ahead in eco though I say only by 20 only given how much map control they have but 20 eco when both players are both teams are below 100 is quite a lot of eco to be behind However, more reclaim in the bank for color team, and so total ecos are reasonably, total mass collected are reasonably even. And Terminator is now claiming Nyar's expansion as his own. He's dropped in some engineers to pick up these mexes, and he's building them, and they won't be rangeable until Nyar has T2. And Nyar, having had his expansion, denied and then claimed is only on 23 mass so it's going to be a while before he can afford T2 Navy. Those cheeky naval yards are now going up which I love. Let's see whether they're going to be noticed. They haven't been seen yet but Saints is at T2 Navy and has his first Salem out and Nya is also at T2 Navy and working on a Destro, so that naval control could prove crucial because look at these coastlines up round here, how could Hot Team stop it? But we have to look at this where we have multiple drops going on. Two transports full of tanks are coming in from Terminator trying to shut down more of Nyar's production, but over here, Saints is doing exactly the same with a bunch of Medusa artillery to Black Death. And he opens fire. He immediately smacks down... Is he going to kill this T2 power? But we have a res NG response here. And look at this beautiful reclaim work from Black Death. And he saves the T2 power. Beautiful. On this side... Though Nya is losing his mexes, he's losing everything. This is awful. Nya is losing multiple T2 mexes. F's in the chat for his eco, that has got to hurt. And Black Death is also pushing through the middle with a bunch of Medusa and a few Mantis. Saints will probably defend that with his comb though, especially with the help of these tanks. And we have a few Wagners, but they're coming over here by the looks of things to help Nya in defense. And meanwhile, we have T2 Navy already out and coming around here for Saints, and that could really hurt Blackheart if it hits him in the base. What can Cold Team do now that Hot Team have twice their eco and about three times the map control? Navy is certainly going to be a start though, we'll be checking on that in a moment. But I see some shenanigans going on, and so... Black Death has a transport here landing right in Saints' base as well. This T2 radar is going down straight away, and there could be a few pickups. More things we can see here are being dropped into Nyar's base, kicking him while he's down, though these Wagners and the combo defend. But up here... Revenge could be sweet for Nya as he brings the transport full of Zooey's into Terminator's base. Down they come. Saints losing a mech there and the Zooey's open up. The Zooey's, Zooey's, those are Medusa, the Zooey's here open up and they are going to get some work done and the response is NG's from Terminator. I love it. He does lose a T2 mix there, and I think he might be about to lose another, but look at this. Boom. They've all just all been sucked up. And at the cost of two mixes, but lovely engineer response. 
However, over here we have yet more drops coming into the base for Saints. Now, these drops from Black Death could really hurt Saints. His air production is under threat. This T2 Landage kill would be a beautiful pickup if he could get it. Not sure what he's focusing here, a P-Gen? I think he needs more Medusa in this mix in order to get some real damage done to the Eco. And Wagner's are coming off to defend, as is a Salem. So I don't think that Black Death is going to get much more work done here. On the left, that Destro from Saints has killed a couple of Mexes and could get some more work done. There were torpedo bombers trying to take it out though. But you know where torpedoes can't hit? They can't hit on the land and that Salem is going naughty naughty walkie walkie. And he can range quite a lot of these mexes just by getting on land. However, he mustn't get too close because we have this, this T2 point defense. He can outrange the T2 point defense, but he's going to have to back away, and he does. Over here, we have a Destro from Nya, which we saw him finish earlier coming around. I don't know where he got the mass for a cruiser as well, but he's got one, and it's coming around. We have this Wagner defense continuing to help out Nya, who is now on just three mass per tick, though he's got a decent amount of reclaim to pick up, of course, thanks to his base having once been there. This Destro is going to try and shut down Terminator's naval production, but Terminator, with the Torp upgrade, is just coming around here to try and stop Nya getting any more navy out. Good damage here from Saints who is popping units in the base of Black Death. How can Black Death defend? Gunships would probably be a good choice for a slow moving destroyer on the land. But he's losing his core mexes. He's got to do something about it fast. And he does have a gunship coming out. And he is going to answer with it. Good choice. Down here, Code Team still don't know about Black Death's sneaky little naval base, so that's been a fun little play. Let's see if he gets anything done with it. The gunships are going to clear up this Destro, but there's another Destro, a cruiser, and a third Destro coming in to reinforce, so this relief will only be brief for Black Death. The cruiser is under Torp Bomber fire and normally only four Torp Bombers wouldn't take a cruiser but with that Torp com as well the cruiser is gonna die quite quickly. Down it goes. And the air response to Saints' Navy isn't doing a great job. These gunships have just landed and Saints has brought in interceptors to defend against the gunships though Black Death does have interceptors as well. Torp bombers, the ones that we just saw take out that cruiser, are coming in from Terminator to help out. Despite his loss of all these mexes, including several of his core mexes, the eco is still 2-1 to one in favour of Hot Team, which shows just how much damage they did to Nya. However, the air response is being poorly coordinated here, and those torp bombers have just died for pretty much no gain to this cruiser. And the fleet from Saints moves on to hit Terminator, and Terminator is not happy. Dude, he complains to Black Death, which I can't help but imagine in a bit of a Bill and Ted voice. Over here, Nya was trying to recolonize his expansion as well, bringing his com out, and he has got this cruiser to help out, though it doesn't have any direct fire because it's severed, it only has missiles. <coughs> now, this lone Salem might be an easier prey for Black Death's gunships, and or this one, and now might be a good time to hit it. Well, the cruiser is engaged up with these subs that Terminator has brought back, and Terminator also has a strat. 
he has T3 air, but he's if he loses this T3 P gen, that's going to be brutal. And the air response is multiple gunships. Is it going to take out this Destro? I can't imagine it. Well, multiple gunships, multiple torp bombers. He's retreating. Why is he retreating? Is this is this Destro going to survive into the red? That's crazy. Where's the strat going? Where well, the strat is coming in down towards the base of Saints. Nice pickup of a mix. Flies away from this huge heap of flak tanks, though. Comes back in for another mix. Takes it out. And flies away. Nice. Black Death also going for the torpedo upgrade. This Destro survived on 160 hit points. That's mad. And more torpedo bombers coming out desperately trying to protect Terminator. The Strat is deep into the red and is just trying to fly away. Terminator coming down with the Torp upgrade. Can he get any damage done here? Meanwhile, the entire central landmass is under the control of Black Death and Cold Team have been driven away. But Terminator says GG as Saints comes on to land in his base. He's and he kills himself. Terminator just quits. That's a bit rude. Wow, says Black Death, unhappy with this. I don't I don't do you think he knew that they were like on double Color Team's eco. However, Black Death does now have the torpedo, and this cruiser could be easy pickings, but he's got to be careful. He might even have had a chance to kill Nyar's Com. If only he'd known. But what was left of his base is being shredded. Black Death inherits it, but there isn't going to be much to inherit. And now we have a T2 Navy from Black Death coming out and shooting up Saints' naval production. So that is pretty nice play from Black Death. I was hoping we'd see a sneaky naval surprise from down here in the bottom, and we did. And Black Death is just sending his comm with only the Torp upgrade, no gun or anything to fight both a Destro and a Cruiser. This seems unwise, however the Salem can't fire backwards and so Black Death isn't taking any hits from it right now. And he's getting into the water and the Torps open fire. We'll check on him in just a second, but down here, look at the damage he's getting done to the base of Saints. He's taking out these T2 mixers, which Saints thought was safe. He's taken out the T2 naval yard. Saints is trying to clear this big set of spam up, but while he's doing that, he, he and Nyar are losing navy at quite a rate. This horde of Wagners, plus a Destro coming back from the front line, might stop Black Death's naval production. Meanwhile, Black Death is under the water. He's taken half his hits already. But this destroyer is just sailing away. I think that if he'd stuck around here, Saints could have just killed Black Death right now and won the game. Torp Bomber trying to get damage done on a cruiser gets a hit in but the cruiser survives. The cruiser is go going to try and take out the power but the shield for Black Death pops back up and Black Death's top comes into the cruiser and Black Death without fear he's just going to top this destroyer to death. Look at that, that is amazing. Meanwhile how are those Wagners doing? Well they're chasing the navy rather than going for the production. Another destroyer comes out fighting this destroyer but now he knows where the base is and he can open fire on the actual production. 
Black Death brings his Salem back. He's also got a sub here, and I think he's going to win this neighbor fight before he loses too much of his bird capacity. Plus, another destroyer is about to roll out. There it comes. But this is a big horde of Wagner's. The cruiser, I think, is an irrelevance, as it's just going to be shredded by surface fire from the Destros, which, of course, can't hit the Wagner's on the surface. They're deep under the water. That's lots of torque power, though, and I don't know if it's going to really do much against this much destroyer and sub. However, looks like two can play at that game, and Saints is dropping NGs up here. So he's just going to put down some naval yards. There's some nice reclaim to pick up, which I presume is the main goal. We'll find out what he does in a second. Meanwhile, look at this damage to what was Terminator's base. Hot Team, Black Death, are still 20 eco ahead, and the fact that neither team has more than 90 eco at 25 minutes into the game is crazy. Everyone's just losing everything. Those Wagners have indeed been shredded, and again, Saints is going to be having a bit of a problem when this navy can just bombard his base. He does have a T2 air HQ, he does still have that T2 land HQ. Nya is on an upgrade over here, which could be a problem if he does it. He might be forced to cancel by these two gunships. Because he's still got a minute to go and two T2 gunships just wailing away at him basically for free. As what he, What's he got that can answer it? Make that three gunships. Could force a cancel, but they're not. They're just landing here. Why is that? I do not know. And Nya is not going to be idle. He is dropping NGs onto Terminator's old base, which is now empty. And who's got those planned? Well, Naval Yard going up, reclaim order, and then building a vast heap of spam factories, presumably for Zoe's, that's queued up for Nya. And he's landing back here. And those gunships, rather than going on and trying to force a capture, maybe they didn't know about it, are coming back to defend against the drop. Meanwhile, the navies are still pummeling Black Death's base. He's got some naval yards down and he's just going to be able to torp his cruiser with his comm. He's done great work with this torp upgrade on his comm and he's regenerated all his health. But there's still this cruiser to handle and the gunships will just die to it. He'll need an underwater or torpedo bomber response to that. And Nya finishes T2 and immediately starts tactical missile. Now, with all these essentially unprotected mexes scattered around the central area, that tactical missile could do real damage to Black Death's eco, and Black Death is suddenly at half... And he's not power stored. He's just lost that amount of eco. So now, it is Color Team who have the 2 to 1 eco lead. That's crazy. However, there's a lot to reclaim here, and a T3 engineer which can rebuild this. He's rebuilding it straight to T3. That'll be expensive, but and he's got a bit of mass in the bank, but not much. It might take a while if he mass stores, and he'll need to send these engines out to pick up reclaim. But that's a lot of reclaim, so he absolutely could. Meanwhile, though, look at his fleet. His fleet is smashing into Saints' base. However, Saints is defending with T2 Arty. That's the correct defense. Is Saints having power trouble? Yes, he is. His shields have gone down though, and he's going to lose quite a lot while his shields are down. If he loses the air rage kill, that could be bad. If he loses the power, that could also be bad. Well, you know, losing anything is bad. But you know what I meant? And Saints is also going for the torpedo, having seen the excellent work it's done for Black Death. And we're seeing Arty hits falling in here. Black Death is going to lose a couple of Destrials if a couple more of those land. But Saints has lost all his air production and he cancels the talk in order to try and put his eco into rebuilding. The RT is doing good work though, but this is horrific for Saints. Meanwhile, Black Death's top com is just chasing the cruiser round and round this island. Cue the Benny Hill music. I'm not going to play it because I'd get copyrights claimed and I'm not going to sing it because 
Then you'd try and hear me singing the Betty Hill music, and that, I assure you, would be terrible. Now, Black Death's navy is coming round here, and where's it going? Is it just going to try and clear up a few of these edge mixes? More drops out from Nya, and looking at these transports, he's got more planned. Where's he going to go with it? Meanwhile, his com is just walking around the top here, trying to get into a position to use that TML. Where's this going? This is going straight into Black Death Space. I think this would be a better choice than just landing it here, and it's flying over a bunch. Ooh! That is a painful loss for Nya as he just flies over some anti air that Black Death has cheekily put up. This drop, however, is going to make it down. He's just putting some engineers here. And w there's only an air factory and a few engineers here to defend. Does Black Death know about it? He does. He does know that something has landed there and he sends the gunships to answer. If he hadn't, this could have been a nasty surprise for... Well, this T3P jet... Pigeon Mex is still trying to go up. He must be horrifically mastered. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Ow. <clears throat> Why aren't these boys out reclaiming? Why are they spending? They should be reclaiming. And the TML fires. Ow. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Well, I'm saying sorry about my cough, but also sorry about Black Death having to lose both that T2 factory and the NG that came out of it. A waste of quite a lot of eco, and on top of that, the tactical missile hit killed the reclaim, so that was great for Nya. The gunships are probably going to clear this up. There is a single T1 anti-air coming out. If he focuses it, then... Nope. I think this is a mistake. I think that... Black Death really needed to kill this production before we get anything down, but he's just going to counter land with land. His navy is still moving around here, and Saints, now with Torpedo and Nano and T2, so a very chunky torpedo com, comes into the water, and he's still got those arties in defence, but is he power stored? Not quite, but close. He has lost a couple of those pigeons, and he really needs to get some pigeons up before he can get more work done. He's trying to defend over here with Wagner's, and enough Wagner's will clear up this. Is three enough? Maybe we'll find out. Meanwhile, though, Nya is being kicked again as the army, army navy from Black Death sails around and bombards his main base. He has re-expanded here, so he's not going to lose everything if he loses this base. But it's still going to be pretty bad. And he's got another drop coming around here. Where's it headed? Well, that's interesting. He's planning to put some down over on this plateau. He's going for the plateau. Nice. There's T2 Mexes there. There's radar there. That would be nice to deny Black Death. It would be nice to take for himself. And you can't access it from the land. So if he puts up some anti-air... He'll be reason to be safe there, but with what eco look at this, he's being torn apart in his main base once again. Good little gunship raid on this mid plateau from Black Death, I like that. And Saints is sending his com all on his own with that gun torp rather, torp. Nano and T2 to take out the naval production here, which isn't actually building anything. Black Death has stopped it because he couldn't afford it, and he's more worried about getting land production out here in order to stop Nya's spam from these. But Nya is just standing there in the water with his com, TMLing the production. I don't actually know if that's a good use of TML, just taking out T1 factories, especially with as little eco as he's got, he's down to nine thanks to those raids on his eco by the navy, but he's doing it and he's popping the production, so this would be a beautiful TMO target, that T3 mech, that's like, what, a third of the entire eco for Black Death? Meanwhile, here is Saints, and he's also reclaiming the factory, but look at the repair, thanks to these dudes who were left 
assisting. Despite that, despite the repair, the torpedoes and the reclaim are outdoing the repair and he is just eating it up. So that's pretty nice. However, this is quite a big fleet involving sub hunters and saints could be in trouble. He eats up the factory, He's ta uh, but that's three sub hunters and four subs. Will Saints' torpedoes be enough to stop them? And can he actually see them? Under yes, he can. He's got some sonar there. But sub hunters are going to hurt. He's into the yellow. And there's still a couple of entries left, so Black Death is just rebuilding. However, the sub hunters have died to the torps. There's a couple more coming in, but Saints is just going to walk out of the water onto this island, and he is going to be safe. Nya, meanwhile, has come out onto the land. The T23 mechs gets a ping. Will Nya just TML it? There's a T2 point defense going up here, but T2 point defense would just die. A single well-placed TML there would be more than enough. However, with only 10 eco, make that 12, but still not much eco. Nya is very slow to load. He fires. What's he firing at? Boom. He takes out both the PDs. Nice. He could just now walk in to shoot that mix with his comm. However, he's got to be worried about the Navy from Black Death which has come around and is shooting Nyar's new forward base from behind. Meanwhile though, these Wagners from Saints that we saw raiding earlier have come across the middle and have reached Black Death's base. Unfortunately for Saints, there is T2PD in the base and I think that will be more than enough to stop it before it gets any real work done. As if that wasn't enough, Black Death's com walks in and takes it. So over here what have we got? There's TMDs there, but that's not going to stop a com just literally walking up and shooting it. I would like to see a capture here. If Nya just captures the T3 mechs, that would be hilarious. But he's not. He's just going to shoot it. Subhunters out from Saints as he comes out to... with his com again with that torp to try and shut down... Black Death once and for all in his little expansion here. And look how many more NG he's got out to try and rebuild. He's almost at T2 again. But it, he's not yet at T2 and so those sub hunters are going to deny it. That is very good from Saints. It gets to T2 but it's already on half health. I don't think there's going to be much for Black Death to do here. Torp defense is being thrown up as fast as he can. And that does actually take out the um, the sub hunters, and maybe he's going to be able to defend. Will Saints' com be able to take it? Well, no, because these torp launches are outranged by this cruiser, and Nya is being hit from the air with corsairs. He's got a lot of hits. He's got three vets he's got t2 and he's putting up flak and rather than risk his corsairs black death retreats how has he still got this t3 mech with nyar's com right here back down here will this desperate make it out before the naval yard goes down no it will not and that i think will be that if saints just walks in <coughs> Now, Nyar's com could be in danger from these Salems as Black Death has just sailed them around. If I were Black Death, I would be bringing these Salems up onto the land because sure, a com is slow, but Salems have good range. Like put one Salem here, move this guy here to cut him off and then walk them up onto the land. Meanwhile, Nyar is shooting this T3 mechs while he opens up on the base of Black Death Ooh, 200 hit points remaining, and there is a TMD going up. 
one more hit and that goes down but will it get past these multiple TMDs I don't think it will anyway Nya has more than tactical missiles to worry about though he launches another one as he is now in range of both the siren cruisers and the Salem Destros he's gonna have to fall back now this guy needs to come around here and cut him off and the Corsairs come in again is Nya gonna be taken out these gunships could also help out and Black Death has come coming in but he's retreating from this fight. Why, it, apart from this one Corsair, okay, the two Corsairs, does he think there's going to be enough? I don't know if they're going to be enough. And where's the Com going? What's he doing with it? I'm not sure what his plan is here. I mean, he's getting to the middle of the island where the only way he's going to be hit from the sea is if the Salem's walk on land and he's putting up flak. Will the Corsairs be able to target the flak to stop it going up? I think they're still targeting his comm. They don't know he's putting up the flak. Or rather, Black Death hasn't noticed and the flak goes up. I think he's going to be safe. And now it's Black Death's comm who has to worry. He's down here on an upgrade. And Saints has torp bombers in the area. The Corsairs could probably shoot these down. But Black Death is taking hits. Is he going to be forced to cancel first? I think he might. And now when you look at it, it's looking a lot more like half and half in terms of map control. And that's a lot of sub hunters. Black Death is forced to cancel. He simply picks himself up from the water and flies himself to safety. However, Nya is just still there and still firing torpedo, torpedoes, tactical missiles. Where's this one going to go? It, well, it's not. I'm not sure what he was aiming at or whether it just got shot down by the TMDs. And down here, we see that Saints is nearly at T3 air. That could be a beautiful game changer if he gets ASFs out, if he gets followed by a strat or even just... Whalers would be quite nice. It would probably be able to take out this. And Nyar would be forced to spend a lot of his very limited ego. He's back down to seven poor Nyar on some flak. Meanwhile, Blackheart is trying to colonise this expansion yet again with another big drop of Medusa and Mantis. Boom. I think he's regretting not just bringing along some energies there now that he knows how little is actually there for Nya. And Black Death is putting up more production here with the hope of just swarming units in and overwhelming Nya where he stands here. He's trying to get T2 power up but look how so it is and he's back down to just 3 eco thanks to this drop. Meanwhile though, Saints is coming in with his torpedo bombers, of which he has a lot, and his sub-hunters. The sub-hunters can target the cruisers first. Could this finally, finally be the naval victory that Cold Team need? But Black Death has Inties coming in and they'll take out the torp bombers. And he's actually managed with his horde of sub-hunters plus a bunch of Destrials to clear up Saints' sub-hunters. So naval control once again in the hands of Hot Team. There's another little gaggle of sub-hunters here coming around from Saints. But I don't think that that is going to be enough. And Black Death has indeed dropped engines over here. And he's just colonising this expansion. Beautiful work from Black Death. Though he's only actually 20 eco ahead. And again... Both sides still under 100 eco per tick at 45 minutes in. That's great. Black Death getting T2 on his com. But Nya is coming in in person to shut down the eco... The production, sorry. <coughs> of Black Death.
He has got a tactical missile loaded. Oh, but is he going to get in range of the Salems? That could be painful. He is. He's in range of the Salems. He's reclaiming this factory, but he's under fire. And he fires a tactical missile. Where's it going? Just pops off that whatever those engines were building there. I didn't even see. Black Death nearly finished with T2. And Nya, oh, but nice rank of vet there, his fifth rank, and, and he's back into the green, and Nya is walking away. Black Death finishes T2. And he keeps on using the tactical missiles for defense. That's pretty much all he's spending his eco on. He re And he's just, this is his eco, he's just reclaiming Terminator's old base. That's his entire eco, it's crazy. And Black Death is flying in in person. This feels like a mistake because he's only got his own com. There's some production here for Nya. He is Pung. He's got T2, Nya has T2. They're evenly matched. If he, if the Salems can help out, then maybe he wins. Ooh, but look at that. Tactical missile, but it misses. Black Death dodges, and Black Death falls back a bit. And the Salems are now in range of Nya. This could make all the difference. But that tactical missile hits and takes off half of Black Death's damage. Black Death, my dude, you need to dodge. He gets in, he brings in Corsairs as well. Nya's down into the red. Nya's dodging. But the Salem's are gonna another tactical missile is out and it hits and Black Death is down and he draws with Nya. Boom! Black Death and Nya take each other out, leaving Saints all alone, but Saints all alone is all that cold team need to win. Well, that was absolute madness. Do you think Terminator left too early? I think he had a chance still as Black Death proved by holding out for quite some time afterwards. And as for that finish, do you think Black Death should have spent the time to get the Nano before he tried that crazy cum drop, or should he have just walked his Salems onto land to try to do the deed? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. While you're down there, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey, because I am the Commissar, and I will see you next time.